When me and Namdi first got married, we discussed cheating and mm -hmm. it was something from jump. We were like, non-negotiable. I am not taking you back. But we talking about 10 years in the game with someone, four kids later, businesses together, podcasts, YouTube together, ministry together. The purification that our marriage has gone through over that amount of time. I can understand why someone would take someone back. Looking at this clip, hearing you and just living life, a lot of times people say, never say what you never will do like mm -hmm. you don't know until you're actually in those shoes so i have had time to rethink about this thing mm -hmm. and i'm like we're building podcasts mm -hmm. businesses and you know going to the next level so together. right now namdi is about to answer <laughs> does tk have a hall pass yeah you know this is an e production period so I was doing some research for our show and I ran across this pretty unique clip. I think it's unique to us and probably extremely, especially this culture. And it is of Kiki Palmer. She was being interviewed and the question was surrounding cheating. I think you'll be surprised by what we might have to say about it. Check out this clip. You were married. Okay. 10 years. Kids. And then in the 10th year you get cheated on. Are you leaving? Uh, it depends on if he's showing me contrition or not. Uh, why did this happen? Why didn't you talk to me? Was there a problem in our marriage or is there a problem going on with you? Is this a midlife crisis? Is this something that you, you know, I need to understand what's going on. But I do think that forgiveness is a major part of love. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to admit that. Now, I'm not saying uh, you need to be forgiven a dude every dang on day. You know what I'm saying? For something major, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to be able to set your boundary lines and whatever your hard lines are. But I do, I feel like I have learned throughout my life because I've cut a lot of people off. I'm one of those people that's like, you me wrong you've hurt me we're done number change you're blocked yeah. and i've learned that that's not right I, i've lost a lot of people or i have just found myself very alone because it's like well girl every somebody gonna hurt you once or twice like mm -hmm. including your mama and your daddy and your family members like you're gonna be hurt by people because people are not perfect man what an interesting take from mm -hmm. kiki uh I, babe i wanted to because she said some things in there that reminded me of you like yes. cutting people off you Baby. done with them right it's a wrap. uh so I, I just wanted to kind of know like because of that likeness and the personality yes, in, in some sure. of those ways what is it that you think about this yes she reminds me of myself so much i i want to say my past self like I've grown a little bit past this, but uh, I totally get it. So when me and Namdi first got married, we discussed cheating and mm -hmm. it was something from jump. We were like non-negotiable. I am not taking you back. And mm -hmm. it was, we were both just as strong about it. And for me, and I think it's both of our reasonings, but I'll talk about mine. My reason behind not accepting you back if you were to cheat back then, my reasoning was because I am... I have a, a little petty lady on the inside that is going to either A, want to pay you back or B, just treat you like trash. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to talk to you bad. You're going to buy me everything I want and you bet not say no. Like mm -hmm. I deserve everything I want from this moment forward because you did that one thing mm -hmm. or I'm going to cheat too. Right. I'm going to do it too and, I, and it's going to hurt even worse. You know, like my... The the evil side <laughs> that I die, that I kill off every day, um, she would arise if if you were to do something like that. So we sat down. We were like, it's a no because we're both petty, because we're both immature, be and not even just that because we we know our worth and mm -hmm. we're just like I'm cool on that. Like mm -hmm. I'm good. I just I don't know how to come back from that. I also know. Married couples, you know, the wife that has gotten cheated on, she don't let that man live it down. Like, I know y'all probably know a couple who, you know, the man cheated and she's she's bitter. You know, you can tell a woman that's been cheated on. Like, oh, yeah. she's insecure. You know, she the man go to Walmart and she like, where you at? I bet you at Sasha's house. <laughs> like, everything is about cheating now. Everything, mm -hmm. she's insecure. If he work an extra hour, she don't trust that. It's just this heightened, tense environment. Yeah. And I don't want that. I, I don't want to live my life. If I, now I'm to go to Walmart, I'm probably just calling him to talk to him, but I'm not like, where you at? You taking a while, what's going on? Like, it's nothing weird. And I just did not, I don't want to live my life like that. And I see it, I've witnessed it, but we talking about 10 years in the game with someone, kids together, four kids later, businesses together, yeah. podcasts, YouTube together, <laughs> ministry together. Yeah. I mean, the purification that our marriage has gone through over that amount of time, 
I, I can, I can understand why someone would take someone back, you know, again, in, in the beginning, it was an absolute no, but I understand the contemplation. I understand the consideration. I got a pass of, y'all. <sighs> Baby. i understand um i just understand because Mm. you know especially when you you've just spent so much time investing in someone like i've taught you how to love me Mm. i've taught you how to treat me you've seen every season thus far like you know the deepest of the deepest darkest Mm. secrets the ugliest of the ugliest side the 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 pain and the victories together And leaving someone that you've built someone with something with for so long, it's a huge L Mm -hmm. like it can look more like an L than leaving and like maybe finding someone that can actually honor you and respect you and not do that. Mm -hmm. Like it can look more like an L to move on. Like I've heard women say it, I'm strong for staying here. No, it takes strength to leave. Come on, It takes strength to get up out of a place because it's, it's actually easier to stay Although the outcome typically is not that great. Now, I'm yeah. sure there are some married couples who have went through infidelity and you've been able to thrive afterwards. But I think I would be so disheartened by the the purification our marriage has gone through. We've already had a fight the past and the partners. Like, I I hate knowing Nambi had partners before <laughs> me. I It disgusts me. It makes me vomit. <laughs> Especially when you see them, you just like... Ugh. God, why did you do that? I was saying like, babe, why weren't you thinking of me when you were out here? He's like, babe, I didn't know you were a human. I didn't know you existed. But to know how I think about the past, baby, the present. So although I understand the consideration, I understand the contemplation. But because I have a unmovable confidence in myself, I will be like Negro next <laughs> Eat with the businesses, with the YouTube, with the ministry, because I just feel like there were so many steps to take before you went there, especially with our marriage. Like we're not a couple that don't talk. We're not a couple that just coexist. Like, no, no we let each other. Hey, we ain't getting up. Uh, hey, yeah. I need a little more of this. Yeah. I need you to uh, 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 kind of mm-hmm, like, yeah. let's talk. Yeah. So I just yeah. feel like there were so many steps that we could have you know, we could have t- taken before you crossed that line. So if you yeah. decide to cross that line, that's your idiotic self. Yeah. And you will have to see me elevate from afar. <laughs> right. I love Pick that. your I kids up that. on the weekend. What's good, family? We want to pause for a quick moment. Hope you're getting tremendous value from this video. But we want to share with you, it shows that about 49% of you who are watching right now are not subscribed. 49%. Listen, y'all, it's free to subscribe. It's free to hit the notification bells. And if you keep coming back, you keep watching, that means you like the vibe. So join the family, click that notification bell, click the subscribe button. We will so totally appreciate it. Yes, we will. Back to the show. Yeah. So uh, it was an interesting take. Um, As far as that goes, I've never knowingly have been cheated on. I've been in relationships where we broken up for periods of time and had partners in between and they considered that cheating, but I never did. Uh, But I have, uh, speaking from the side of the cheater. I have been that in my early twenties. I remember, uh, dating a young lady and I could not, this was when I first had my, my first daughter and I could not stop messing with my child's mom. Uh, also there was other, you know, women every once in a while. And I felt so bad because I've always been the guy who's had heavy convictions. I felt so bad. I would go and tell this girl, like she was, she thought I was the, everything and just was so big on me and I just felt like trash you know and so I would go and I would say hey listen I, I did this thing and I don't think you really should be with me I don't deserve you you, you know sound just like an <laughs> I, I would tell her I would tell her straight up like you don't deserve, you deserve me better. like she's in she's in med school <laughs> she was doing her thing and I and I was just like no nah, I just don't deserve you and I would leave and this girl would basically guilt me into coming back. She would act like she's going to uh, make herself unalive, right? Let's just say that. Not you laughing while you say that. Yeah, she would say that. I'm not, <laughs> it's not funny. But at that time, I'll be like, like literally would call me on the phone, breaking glass, like this is what's about to happen if you don't get back here. And I'm like, Dang. okay. And so, and this happens like a, 
a few different times. You like crazy. And man. so I got back. I would go back and and I would stay, but in the in my mind, her subconsciously, her her value was going down. No mm. matter how high level she was in her education, this is for somebody. Y'all out there, you getting your degrees, y'all, ladies, y'all are really thriving nowadays. Y'all got y'all businesses, all of that. You think if you let him back, that because you this high level woman, that he's going to change, he's going to uh, be a new man because of your status and what you can give him and all of those things. Baby girl, no, that's wrong. Mm. Let me tell you, your value is going down that first time. He's saying, oh, subconscious saying, okay, you could do this again. Okay, so next time when you at the place you had a little bit, you could just blame it on the drink. Blame it on, yeah. I didn't know that this, whatever. I got myself in a bad situation. He believes that you're going to let him back again. And usually... Statistics say, ladies, that y'all will. Mm. So I'm telling you right now, most of the time it's good to let them go. So eventually, I got a, you know, I went ahead and, and ended that re- relationship altogether because, regardless, like I knew she was going to allow me to do these things, and I knew I just wasn't in the state to where I was willing to just be with her only. Yeah, and it continued, you know, it ended up being a cycle in other relationships and all. So, I, but looking at this clip, hearing you. And just living life, I know uh, now a lot of times people say never say what you what you never will do. Like mm-hmm. you don't know until you're actually in those shoes. So I have had time to rethink about this thing, mm-hmm. and I'm like, we building podcasts and mm-hmm. businesses, and I mean we're you know going to the next level. So together. right now, Namdi is about to answer. <laughs> Does TK have a hall pass? Yeah, you know. So basically, she said that. You know, I've thought about this, like, what what would happen? And I'll just turn to what are what was my non-negotiables coming into the marriage? Yeah. This is why marriage counseling is so big, and that was one of them. Regardless of what it is, she she knows. we don't matter how big we done built the business, any of that. We're going to have to split it down the middle, whatever. It's over. I could never What's, get out my mind. But how, like, is there levels to cheating? So, like, if, you know, I accidentally kissed someone else? No, it's, it's done. It's a wrap. A it's, kiss. It's done. I can't. What about I emotional cheating? It. Some men may be able to take that. I don't, but statistics I want to ask can. y'all that. Like, do y'all think there's levels to it? Like, yeah, that good to know. Let us know in the, in the because comments. Because emotional cheating is a thing. Yeah. Like, that's a real thing, actually. No, really. Um, absent when when y'all ain't seeing eye to eye and you lean on your work friend a lot yeah. and, and y'all talking a lot and there's mm. an emotional connection. Are you leaving for that? Uh, uh, yeah. Is that cheating for to you? Uh, so biblically, it doesn't have a way of <laughs> making that out. But again, with us, <laughs> yes, again, because we have such a safe space with each other. Yeah. You can speak up on whatever the issue is. Yeah. You can tell me, man, I want to do this and I want... The craziest thing, my wife can let me... I mean, nothing too crazy, okay. but outside, you know, again... Okay, I was just wondering where you were that's, going. you know, biblical. Okay. We're, we, we can, you know, make sure that we do and we can, you know, take care of that. Yeah. Uh, but so, <laughs> for me, it's still a very, very... Strong no. There's probably Not some older truth. person right now looking at us like these young whippersnappers don't know what they talking about. Let them get into this situation, whatever. Yeah, let them hey, get to year twenty. And listen. I understand that. No, I, I do understand. understand that. I understand why you yeah, stay. No, I understand also the like I said, the contemplation and the consideration. Yeah. Like we're talking about year 40, 50, and and somebody emotionally cheat at work, it's like you might consider, like, okay, yeah. what was that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I I I get it. Now so I think it's levels to it. And mm-hmm. when it comes to intimacy, mm-hmm. a kiss, a, a boob rub, any of those things, it's a wrap. I'm good. It is an absolute wrap. But I also think there are other forms of cheating that people don't talk about. Yeah. And that is emotional cheating. Emotional cheating. Yeah, that's that's actually, deal. that's probably the one I've heard of the most. Mm. Like I've heard, I remember a brother We of went to the marriage camp. Remember? Um, and the, the, the white couple... The yeah. woman uh-huh. emotionally cheated with yeah. her boss, I yeah, think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. Yeah, that's what I mainly heard of. And yeah. so I think that's why it's so important to stay locked in with each other. I think yeah. that's why it's so important to make sure that you guys are 
going on dates and um, that you guys are checking in with each other quarterly. How am yeah. I doing as a husband? How mm-hmm. am I doing as a Every as a wife? area. Um, you know, making sure that you're filling up that love tank, whatever their love language is, the yes. affirmations, the physical touch, the acts of uh, service, things of that sort. You have to be locked in with each other. Mm-hmm. You have to feed your marriage like you would feed anything else. I mean, yeah. that's why even when we were doing we're doing fairly well in mm-hmm. our in our marriage could always be better mm-hmm. but we said we go into the marriage count like we went to the marriage uh conference there yeah we probably went in the last two to three months we've been to two of them we've been to the uh oh, yeah, one yeah, marriage yeah. conference <laughs> and Not, boot camp and then we went marriage, to yeah. the, the one accord uh mm-hmm. situation which was amazing too yeah, and yeah. every time we're getting stronger and stronger how could you feed so many other things you go to the you go to the gym consistently you know, you do all your business, you're, you're maxing out in, in your business, you're maxing out in all your investments, all those things. But are you maxing out in your marriage? Is there no gap to where somebody else could come in and fill in a place that you're not? Yeah. Not saying it's a, an excuse, but man, some of you guys are leaving the most important thing. You're leaving that foundation, that marriage. You're leaving that abandoned while everything else is thriving. Just yeah. make sure you're not doing those things. And I just want to lastly say, like, it... I. Back to the consideration, the contemplation. I like what she said. What Kiki Palma talked about, like where was our marriage? So I can understand, like with marriages that know that they were like, nah, I was a hundred percent neglecting you. I barely was home. Yeah. I was always out. I didn't care. We didn't go to sleep together. We didn't like nothing. Mm-hmm. I I can understand why you'd be like, nah, I gotta take that ill. Yeah. I did not show up. Yeah. So make sure if you know, Lord forbid, something like that happens. Yeah. You know, like for me, I know hands down. If Nandi decided to do that, that would be straight up flesh, sin, and evilness in him because he is well taken care. Yeah. Of. and so i have the confidence in that um and we've created like you said just we've created the environment to talk about any and everything from intimacy to finances mm-hmm. to friends to i don't want you to be cool with that person mm-hmm. that's giving little weird vibes to <laughs> yeah. i need this i mean everything yeah. every area we don't go silent in this house yeah. we don't coexist Who's we're woman? not roommates yeah. like we're actively if if and i think <laughs> You know, we talk about that we didn't have counseling much in in our marriage. I think that's actually been a blessing because it's it's kind of forced us to Always step up. Like, no, we not we don't have help. It's just us. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just understand the consideration, the contemplation. But when it comes down to TK, Takisha, you mm-hmm. able? It's a big no for me. And the a same big no. here for me. So, hey, man, we want to know what do you guys think? I mean, after this take, would you let somebody you know, come back into your life after cheating? Mm-hmm. We'd love to know. Let us know down in the comments below. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you can do us a huge favor, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Yes, and please do not forget to hit that notification bell. We need y'all to be locked in every single time we drop this fire content. Also, we need y'all to follow us on all social media platforms at the Ewables. And look, we will see y'all on the next video. Holla. <laughs>